after a one-month break. The second half of the Formula 1 has been started with the Belgium Grand Prix. And it was a totally heartbreaking weekend for the Manello-based team as they missed some important points in the championship standings, which result to widen their gap with the rival Red Bull Racing. Even though they start the 2022 campaign strongly, with many advantages over other teams, bringing the hopes of a championship to Ferrari fans after spending a few seasons in the midfield. But when the season matures, they seem to lose the grip in the front as Red Bull racing was massively improved within the first few races than expected. It was a double DNF for the Austrian team at the season opener at Bahrain, and reigning world champion Max Verstappen experienced another retirement at the third race in Australia. So Ferrari had the advantage over the Red Bulls at the beginning, but the Red Bull team came back strongly within the next few races with a number of successful updates solving their issues. Those updates were really strong as they pushed the RB18 to a new level, which is untouchable for the rival teams. Ferrari also focused much on the updates all over the first half of the season as they want to push limits of their all-new F175. They showed improvement, but not up to a level that Red Bull Racing has touched within the first half of the season. Both teams brought back-to-back -back updates, but on the other hand, they were touching the ceiling of the cost cap, limiting their own opportunities in the second half of the season. The race result of the last weekend clearly interprets the decline of the Italian team. Red Bull is now at another level compared to the rival teams in the grid as they prove that they can win a race even starting the race below P10 in the starting grid. Reigning world champion Max Verstappen's performance on the iconic spa track is undoubtedly a masterclass. They are now showing the class that Mercedes showed a few years back, dominating the whole season. Belgium's 1-2 finish for Red Bull expand the gap within the Ferrari team and the constructor standings up to 97 points. But on the other hand, Ferrari driver Leclerc started the race in P15 as same as Verstappen, but he was capable only to push his car up to P5 at the end of the race. Unfortunately, he lost one more position to Alpine driver Fernando Alonso as he served a five-second time penalty at the end of the race. Carlos Sainz started the race as the pole sitter, but he was unable to manage the challenge from both the Red Bull cars, dropping the P3. Even in the final stages, Sainz's F175 didn't fit enough to defend the attack from George Russell's W13. Ferrari seems to be now in a condition that is not strong enough to defend the challenge, even from Mercedes, who are struggling to find their rhythm over a season. The latest development of the update battle is the Ferrari principal, Matteo Benotto's statement regarding the Red Bull updates. He said, we could never afford to develop a lightweight chassis or any other chassis during the season because the budget doesn't allow it. I would be very surprised if that was possible for other teams. You have to ask yourself whether the monitoring is sufficient. Unfortunately, very few people keep an eye on it at the FIA that needs to improve for the future. It would be really bad if the championship were decided by the financial rules. These statements have come after Verstappen confirmed that Red Bull is working on a new chassis that will make the RB18 car much lighter, which helps them get a much more face advantage over the rivals. When the media questioned the rumor regarding Red Bull's chassis upgrade in the near future, Verstappen told Sky Sports there will be one later on in the year, before admitting he does not know the exact number when it comes to how much lighter it will make his car. But the Ferrari team principal was surprised by that statement, as the Ferrari team is currently struggling to make such an update under the cost cap, and he suggested that the budget cap needs to be monitored more closely by FIA to make it fair play among the team. So, he indirectly said that Red Bull Racing is cheating by making tricks to the budget cap. If such an upgrade to the chassis is introduced, it would be a huge blow to the championship hopes of the Italian team, as they will surely face a deficit in performance sooner. Even though Dutchman made such a statement, there was no such upgrade in Red Bull's upgrade plan for the second half of the 2022 season. Red Bull was satisfied with some minor upgrades for the race at the Spa Franco Champs and delivered some incredible performances with one to two finishes. Their next major upgrade will come at Monza as a huge modification to the rear wing as it plays a huge role in the high-speed tracks. The majority of teams come with a similar type of upgrade to their 2022 challengers as the pace is the key to the victory in Italy. But that is not the end of their upgrade loophole, as they are eyeing a modification to the RB18 with the aim of increasing the downforce. Then they will run the same setup till the season final in Abu Dhabi without any update according to their schedule. This chassis update is an outlier for their original plan, and it is not a surprising decision not only for Mattia Benito, 
but also for the Formula One fan, as both Red Bull and Ferrari are running at the margins of their cost caps as they went for mega upgrades during the first half of the season. We know that Red Bull team principal, Christian Horner, is always making requests to the FIA to raise the margins of the current caps, pointing out that everything should be readjusted with current inflation rates. It is somewhat awkward to expect such a high cost development from a team who is struggling with the cost cap limitations. But the administration of the Milton Keynes base squad hasn't made any responses to the statement of the Ferrari team principal. Any type of comment will harm the harmony between these two teams as they appear to be more friendly with each other compared to the championship rivalry between Red Bull Racing and Mercedes. Even after a series of updates in the first half, it is fair to question the legality of the upgrade efforts of the Red Bull team as the Italian team knows very well about the cost of running a top team that fights for the championship. It is not a secret of making some cheat efforts by the top teams to hide their costs by creeping through the smaller windows of the regulations, and it is better to consider Benito's statement to make the auditing process more strict to create fair play. Formula One fans want the IndyCar style competitiveness to make this sport less boring as races are full happening when more teams play for the top spots regardless of their financial budgets. We know how Formula One was boring when Mercedes was the only team to fight for the championship a few seasons back. In order to make this sport more competitive again, the FIA's intervention to audit and regulate the operations of every team is very essential. What do you think about the current update battle between Ferrari and Red Bull? Is it good or bad for the sport? Share your ideas in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel to not miss anything related to Formula One. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.